observe to do all his commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day, that what? all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What's the curse? Huh? Haunted. Haunted, right. So, so, so God said that one race of people or one nation of people is going to be cursed. So think about it. You have a white man right here, and then you got a Japanese man right next to him, and a Korean man, and an Ethiopian man, and you as a so-called black man, and an Arabian man, and a Hawaiian man, and a Cambodian man. I'm going to read these curses, and I want you to tell me what people fit the curses. All right? We have to fit the curses that God's chosen people. Right. You with me so far, brother? So let's bring it up. Bring up one of the curses. Give me verse 68. Let's not play any games. Verse 68. And it reads thus, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So one of the curses is that God's people will go back into Egypt again. Now, when you read the Bible, you find out that God's people were doing what in Egypt? They were slaves. Building pyramids, cities. Monuments, sculptures, building up the foundation of Egypt from the ground up. All right, bring it up. Book of Exodus, chapter 13 and verse 3. Bring it up. And Moses said unto the people, remember this day in which he came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What is Egypt? Out, out of, of the, the house, house of bondage. bondage. We were in bondage. Another word for bondage is what? Slavery. So in Egypt, God's people were slaves. That's why Moses told Pharaoh, let my people go. Now, they left Egypt. You understand? But go back to it. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Here's you know. what happened after we were given God's commandments. After we left Egypt. Here's the curse that will happen to God's people. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God said he's going to take his people and put them back into what again? Egypt, which means what? All right, slavery again. With ships! With what? With, With ships. ships! What people out of all these different races that stand standing next to you went into bondage or slavery on ships? Right, you did, our people. So God's audience can't be everybody in the whole wide world. See, a lot of people read the Bible and they think God is talking to everybody. How can God be talking to everybody when everybody didn't go to slavery? Right. On ships. So whoever's reading the Bible, it's supposed to be for the people who went into slavery on ships. Read on. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, right? thou shalt see it no more again. Or you can go to and fro. Thou, thou shalt, shalt see, see it, it no, no more, more again. again. And you will never go back to your homeland again. You ever been back to your homeland? Where? Where's your homeland? Nope, nope. You're, you're already here, brother. Right? To go back somewhere, you, you would have had to came here some way, brother. So your homeland... Hey, brother, what's your homeland? I don't know. Come find out. I'm, I'm okay. Okay, you see that? I would want to know, nothing's going to stop me from finding out my homeland. All right. If I didn't know, I want to find out. And nobody's going to stop me, brother. So your homeland is what? The land of Israel. Give me the class. Galatians 4 and 26. Give me total. Chapter 1 and 4. Right? We know you got to go, brother. We're going to make it quick. <laughs> My man's already here. Tell your man's coming here to work, brother. Oh, right. Hey, brother. Hey, we're out here for the ATs. Right. Tell him to come here to work, brother. Gonna no, brother. Brother, he, he, he going to pay us some money. Right. Because we're going to get on him. We're going to provoke him, brother. Right. Hey, tell him, hey, these men said that you were atheists, and they said they got seven verses that can change your mind. Right. They can turn you from an atheist to a believer through the Holy Spirit. Right. 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 These men said they can turn you from an atheist to a believer of the most high God with seven precepts. More willing to the Holy Spirit. Five minutes, brother. All right? Bring that up. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Right? Yeah. But Jerusalem. But DC. But, but Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Over east. But, but Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Read. Which is above is free. Which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem, that's the motherland. You've never been back to Jerusalem. I've never been back to Jerusalem. So the Lord said, Jerusalem is the land that we would never see again. Tobit 1 and 4. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 1 and verse 4. And when I was in my own country. When I was in my own country. In the land of Israel. In the land of Israel. Right. Read. Being but young. And oh. we hey, you used to be young in your own country, brother. You didn't always wax old being polluted by chemtrails. 
and being polluted by unclean foods and being uh, uh, subjugated to police brutality, bro. You used to be in your own land, bro. You know you have palm trees, fir trees, sand, frankincense, myrrh, calamus, right. cinnamon, aloes, the oil, olive, the wheat, pomegranate. the pomegranate and the barley. Honey. Go on, that's right, read on. All the tribe of Naphtali, my father fell from the house of Jerusalem, read, which was chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, that all the tribes should sacrifice there. See that? We got we to wait till uh, his man's come, man. Right? right? Come bro, just tell me you at the home, bro. Just tell him, tell him I'm, I'm in front of H&L. H &L. H &L. I'm in front of h and L and the old Ripley's. You can't miss me. Right? You can't miss me. I'm talking to a group of men that most are willing to uh, bring them to the truth. Right? On the other side of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Sister, sister. Right? Y'all listen to sisters. Okay, we out here for y'all. Right, what God shows the people. We're telling our people to repent and come back to the Lord in the last days. And keep the commandments. Hey brother, you know that? What's our nationality? What is our nationality according to the Bible? Is Israelite. Hey brother. Hey brother, you heard me? What's our nationality according to the Bible? But how do you know that, brother? Hey brother! On, hey brother. brother! Brother, don't let her lead you, brother. Just cheesing and smiling, huh? Right? right? Just cheesing and smiling, huh? You know? Is he coming, brother? You. You're gonna make his way around. Oh, you doing good on it? Well, you don't have to go, brother. Over the birds and light. Register. Or did you have a reservation? To where? Yes. Huh? That's right, that restaurant. Huh? Uh, probably restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah, dicks. Uh, uh, when, when they yeah, your asshole, too. Yeah. Brother, come on, brother. We're not <laughs> dealing with that, bro. That's folly, brother. Amen. They spill their drink on you on purpose and right. call you a nigger. And they'll throw racial slurs on you. Yeah, they'll throw racial slurs right? on you, man. You really want to go to dicks, brother. They can hey, just call you a brother. nigger. Go to They're going to call you a nigger. Brother, you're gonna go there, they're gonna spill drinks on you and call you a nigga to your face, man. They say we're just being a dick. You know what you signed up for. I understand. Look, I appreciate, hey, I, I appreciate no giving me the information. The right. I appreciate the information. All right, I'm about to come back. Oh, you want to fly? Let me fly. Yeah, they go there, they then attention to me. Check out the information on YouTube, right? And they then slap you around. Yeah, they eat their fries off your Yeah, they eat their fries, they cuss you out. You know, so like it. When I went there, I was with an Eve, and then put her joint, uh, the, uh, that trap house trap queen. Or something. You see that? A bunch of damn, it's a damn funny. That's a funny place. Approach restaurant. Yeah, yeah, come and damn, kick your food down. That's the last. Approach you, you, you got reservations for dicks, man. Huh? Spirit. Yeah, they spin you. Eat. Oh, Oscar the Grouch. That's what they want. They be a damn, you know, a damn, you know, whatever to you, man. Huh? He got a reservation with his man. That's off! Oh, that's that's off! That's off! Oh. That's off! <laughs> right, we're gonna continue with the word of the Lord, man. Bring it out! We're not dealing with folly and madness, man. Right! Right? You gotta register. You done register. We're not gonna get into it, man. Right? We're not gonna get. We're not getting into the folly of Babylon the Great, man. Right. The Lord said, "Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in the low place, man." The Lord isn't dealing with folly. Right. The Most High is dealing with the men who record who seek wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. To the men that seek repentance, man. Give me Matthew chapter 3. Alright, give me Matthew chapter 3 and give me verse 9, man. Alright, give me the book of John chapter 8 and give me verse 43. This is the book of right, Matthew. Give me 1 John chapter 4 and start at verse 2, man. Right? Give me the book of John chapter 9 and give me verse 8, man. Read that. Matthew chapter 3 and verse 9. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Read. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. The Lord said the axe is laid to the root of the trees, man. Right, go on. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down. Is what? Is hewn down. down. Lord, during the last days. Is hewn down. down. And what? And cast into the fire. So if you don't have good fruit in the last days when the Lord return, you're going to be cut down. Man. That's right. The Lord said the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Teach. Meaning judgment is nigh, man. The axe isn't 10 miles away from the tree. 
the axe isn't somewhere in some other country. The axe is literally laid to the root of the trees, man. Right. And men have to make sure they bring forth good fruit, man. Right? Good fruit is what? Repentance, brotherly love, praying, fasting, studying, making your body a living sacrifice, being diligent. If you're not bringing forth good fruit, you're going to be cut down, man. And thrown into the fire. Right. Read on. Read on. I indeed baptize you with water for to repentance. Let's sit on that. Give me first John chapter four and three, man. Just the book right, we're not dealing with Jake's uh Jake of the world bringing forth evil fruit, man. First John four and three. First John chapter four, verse three. Bring it yeah. And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is coming to flesh is not of God. Right? And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. Right? Is it or lucky? Like, is it in the world? Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you than He that is in, in the, the world. world. Yeah, who's in us the most high, man? Right. Yeah, how about you have a shot? Right. Go on. Verse five, verse six. We are of God. What the Lord say? We, we are, are of God. God. We are the world. We, we are of God. God. We are of men. We, we are, are of God. God. Hey, up here we are of God, man. We are the only ones that's going to stand up for the most high, man. Nobody in the Baltimore Inner Harbor is going to stand up for God, man. Nobody in the state of Maryland is going to stand up for the Most High like His servants, man. We are up the Most High, man. We're teaching you to come out of sin, right? Stop being homosexual, right? No, you cannot abort your son. No, you cannot abort your daughter. Right. No, you can't smoke weed. Right. No, you can't commit fornication. Right. No, you cannot be a lesbian. Right. No, you cannot deal with beasts. Right. Right. No, you cannot watch pornography. Right. No, you cannot eat pork. Right. No, you cannot eat shrimp. Right. No, you cannot marry the people of the other nations. Right. Yes, you have to keep the Sabbath. Then we can go on and on, man. We are of God. Read on. He that knoweth God, heareth us. And there are people that know the most high, man. Right? Like Yahweh Shah said, you have known me from the beginning. So certain men, you know of the Lord, and if you know of God, you're going to hear us. You're going to say, ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh, boy, that do add up. Right? We are in Israel, right? Huh? We are God's people. Maybe I shouldn't be smoking cigarettes. I always knew it was wrong to eat pork. Someone always told me it was wrong to be a homosexual. Huh? That's because you're up the most high. Huh? And if you're the elect, you're going to be naturally drawn to this truth, no matter what. You're going to smell the spices, overflow, and it's going to bring you into the garden of the Lord. Huh? Right. Read on. He that knoweth not God, heareth not us. And, and, and that's plain. He that knoweth not God, heareth not us. Hey, brother, do you know God? Yeah. Come here the words of life then. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Give us two minutes, bro. Come brother, on, brother. Two minutes. Come on, brother. Two minutes. There you go, brother. This is right off the Bible, man. All right, read that again, verse 6. Come on, sister. We are here for you, too. All right, two minutes, bro. All right, read that again. We are of God. He that knoweth God, Heareth us. Read that again. He, he that, that knoweth God, God heareth us. us. So if you know God, you're going to listen, brother. Now we're going to show you something. We're going to show you who you are in the Bible. Right? right? If you know God, then you know that God has always a chosen people. Who is chosen people? He said his chosen people. Yeah, what people today in 2022 are God's chosen people? I ain't sure. You ain't sure? Let me first find from 16 to 13. Right? Did you know God has a chosen people? No, God, God does have a chosen people. Right. God has favor, brother. Right. Right, I'm going to show you that. Read that. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 13. You know. Oh, ye seed of Israel, his servant. Ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. His what? His, his chosen, chosen ones. ones. So his chosen ones are the children of Jacob. Out of everybody that God made, he has a particular people called the chosen ones. Now his chosen ones in 2022 are the people on this side. Forever. These are his chosen ones. Everybody's not his chosen ones. Are you on that side? You ain't on there? What's your race? Are you an American black man? Are you an Indian, Mexican? Okay. All right, there you go. So you on there, brother. You will be his chosen. Right. Now, the white man and the government of America, they call you an American black man. Do you think God ever called you an American black when he made you? I'm going to make. I'm gonna call this man an American black man. No, God called you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That would be your God-given nationality. You, you would really be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, but the world would call you an American black man. Right. And you're not really black, right? Your shoes are black, bro. Right. Your skin is brown. How right. are you black? Right. Does that make any sense? Nah. So, all right, and how are you American? You even know where the word American comes from? 
It comes from a white man named America's Best Future, right? An Italian map maker. He drew all of the maps of South America and North America, and they named this land after him. Now, if you say that you're an American black man, that means you, you're a white man is your daddy, and you're the color black. That doesn't make any sense, does it? I, I no, brother. So now you gotta wake up and say, hold on now. This is what they call me, but what did God call me? God called me an Israelite. Right. According to the Bible, Romans 11 and 1. Right, not an American black man and not a Negro, man. Huh? Or a nigger. How they call, don't they call us niggers? Listen to this. Book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, has God cast away his people? Read. God forbid. For I also am an Israelite. What the Lord say? For I also am an Israelite. We are Israelites. Can you say that? Israelite. Israelite. There you go. Read on. Of the seed of Abraham. Of what? Of, of the, the tribe, tribe of Benjamin. So nowhere in the Bible did he say he's a nigger or a Negro right. or Afro-American or a black man. He said that he is an Israelite. Now, that's who we are. We are the Israelites. Right. Now, we know that we're the Israelites based off of prophecy in the Bible. So a prophecy is the foretelling of a future event, right? I'm gonna show you one prophecy in the Bible before you leave, and I want you to tell me what people did this happen to, all right? Now, whoever this happened to, they would have to be God's chosen ones. They would have to be the Israelites. It makes sense so far? Yeah. All right, Deuteronomy 20 to 68. Book of now, Deuteronomy. Keep in mind, was the Bible written yesterday? No, it was written well over thousands of years ago. So I'm about to show you something that was written thousands of years ago that came to pass. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God said he's going to take his people and put them back into Egypt again. Now, do you know what God's people were doing in Egypt before Moses said, let my people go? All right, they were slaves. That's why Moses told Pharaoh, let my people go. Why would you have to say, let my people go up their kings if they're free? Right, they say, let them go. Don't we wear t-shirts that say free rail, free Tony? Right, you only say free them because they locked up, man. Right. right, let them go. He ain't do nothing. Right. right, they planted that weed on him. They planted the drugs on him. They snuck that damn gun under his seat, man, and locked him right. up for 35 years. Free well. Hey, Moses said free Israel, man. That's right. Right, free Israel because we was locked up. Right, right. In prison. As slaves. Right. Right, read that. Do oh, the, yeah, bro. I, Judah, read it, read it. I understand. Judah, check the Bible, on, verse 11. Look, 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 look. Read. Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them and dealt subtly with them and brought them low with laboring and brick and what and made them slaves and what and, and made, made them, them slaves. slaves we were slaves in egypt so if we were slaves in egypt god just said if you don't keep the commandments i'm going to send you back into egypt again meaning back into what there you go let me finish that read on 28 to 68 yeah, again bro, and the lord shall bring thee into egypt hold again on, hold, on, hold on hold on let the brother hear that part hold on brother hey hey sister come here the word I support the game. I support y'all doing, but I got it. All right? Just, just, just chasing cheese, man. Chasing what, man? Just chasing women, man. You know? Hey, women's going to be chasing you in those days, bro. Yep. You're not going to be chasing eating, man. Well, her weed, hey, they say tampons are running out, man. Yep. Uh, maxi pads are running out. Makeup and cosmetics are running out. Uh, uh, mascara is running out, man. Yeah. Perm is running out. What else Eve get? Uh, damn, Mac lipstick. I'm waiting for the weed to run out, man. Eve is running out, man. Yeah, the nasty eyelashes, they call them cum brothers. See that? And your cum brothers are running out, man. Right. You know? That's what they were made for. You know? So bring that up. This book of Isaiah, chapter 32, and verse 9. One. No. Verse 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness. What the Lord say? Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness. Right? And princes shall rule in judgment. Read. And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind. The Lord said, Israel, not just a nigger, not, not Drake, not Jay-Z, right. an Israelite man. He's going to be a hiding place from the wind, man. What is that wind? The destruction coming to the earth. So Eve is going to look for a man of the Lord, man. In those days. Right. Are you one of those Hebrew Israelites? Right. Can I follow you? Where are you going? Right. Can you show me the uh, Deuteronomy? Can I cleave unto thee? Go on. Read on. And a covert from the tempest. And the tempest is all hell breaking loose, man. So a man is going to be a hiding place, man. Like Shade said, she got the song called Lover's Rock, man. Right? Man is going to be uh, the new Lover's Rock, man. 
Go on. As rivers of waters in a dry place. What are the men of the Lord going to be? As, as rivers, rivers of waters in a dry place. will be niggers. As rivers of waters in a dry place. Hey, you got Eve not submitting to the men of the Lord, man. Why you at this evil social media say, yeah, I'll listen to it, man. Right? I'll listen to him. What did she say? She said, basically, I got two demands for a man. And her first demand was like, shut the hell up, man. Right? And she had like 30 damn retweets and 50 likes, man. That's what Eve is on now, man. I got two demands for a man. The first one is shut the hell up, man. So those Eves are going to be finished, man. And the Lord is exposing a lot of so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women, man. Right. The Lord's putting you in the forefront, man. Right. And you're going to be really jammed up in those days, man. Read on. All that nigga, you ain't S H I T. Right. Get out the house. Where the food at for my kids? Right. You right. got you got Jake taking care of his son, and Eve saying where the food for the rest of my kids. Right. Right. I got five. Like doing it in the street. Yeah, I got five other husbands. Where's the food for my five other husbands' kids? Right. Right. All whores are going to be destroyed, man. Huh? Right. right. And all thoughts are going to be destroyed, man. Huh? Right. right. Read on. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And America's going to be that weary land. And the men of the Lord are going to be that great rock. Right? Hey, sister. Hey, sister. You got a minute for the word to the Lord? See, haughty. Prog just walking around. Right? With no care in the Lord. And the word for the Lord. Right? Right? Stretch forth next. Read on. Read on. It's a, and the eyes of them that shall see. And the eyes of them that shall see. Also, of the rash shall understand knowledge, and what? And the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. Read. The vow person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl said to be bounty. Read. For the heart shall I for the vow person. Jump the nine. Rise up, ye women that are Eve. What the Lord say, Rise up, ye women that are Eve. The Lord said, Rise and Eve is at Eve. You know, Eve is one line shopping. Man to man to man. Right. They got five baby daddies. Right? Some some got six, man. One in Chicago, two in DC. You know, they barely cook. One Eve said, I don't cook for my man. I don't have to cook for him. We're equal. Right? I'm a feminist. How are you with a man and you're a feminist, man? Right? Hey, sister, come hear the words of the Lord. You don't want to hear the words of God? No, you don't. Stop playing yourself. Yeah, you playing yourself. Right? You, you stop playing yourself, man. Right. Right? Eve is going to be destroyed, man. Right. I have it in my heart. Yeah, in your heart, you have friends. Right, right. And, and you'll be hearkening to keep the Sabbath. Right. Read on. Read it hey, on. Hey, brothers, give me the words of the Lord. I'm already on it, man. No, 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 brother. Listen to this verse. Listen, listen, brother. Come on, come on, come on. Listen. Hurry, come on, brother. Right? Read it up. Bring it up. It's a rock. No, no, no. Go to, uh, go to, um, yeah, Proverbs 8 and 4. Right, the Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. Hold on, hold on. Check this out, brother. Hold on, wait till the brother does. You know that, brother. You know that we the Israelites. Yeah. That's good. All yeah. praises, brother. All praises. Right? You know that you're an Israelite, brother? Yeah, we did. We did. Practice and spread it towards each other. We're different. I just know the Lord different from y'all. All right, all right. All right. I, I, I'm more doing from a uh, scientific and spiritual point instead of a very religious point. All right, what I like how y'all do Okay, all right. Yeah. Now, what about keeping it a commandment? See, I'm more so logic and frequencies of truth in the universe bring it to me. So, if it makes sense, it makes sense. All right, so we are telling our people that we the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. And that we have to come back to the Lord to keep the commandments. Right. We're none of the labels given to us by the other nations. We're not black. Right. We're not nigger. Right. We're not Afro-American. Right. We're do, not none do, of these do, labels. Do y'all know that God like, called us the Israelites according to the Bible? But like Africa our job was named to our by European, and, and European was named by Africa. You hear me, brother? And people don't know that either. That's right. That's what I'm saying. We have to come back to the Lord and keep the commandments. Right. That's now, the King James verse. Yes, yeah, the King James verse. What did I just tell you, brother? See that? Now I'm going to show you something. Right? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Right? Listen to this. Now this is the King James version. Go to Deuteronomy 28 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. How did our ancestors get here? And, and this, and we circumnavigated the world millions of years ago. 
All right, were, did our, was our people brought up in slave ships? Nope. We were never ever brought on slave ships. Nope. We were already here. All right, so no man was ever on the bottom of a the ship. They made this up? Yep. Why would they make it up? When you destroy the mental mind, you got generation of curses that you ain't even got to do work on. What do, you, what do they gain out of not telling I, I, them? I, with, I, besides me, I'm saying like majority of my generation just automatically thought they were slaves from the history they were told. And then they had to physically pay attention to think that, well, the slave ships that, and then you think about the route that they were supposed to take, and then the human condition, ain't like we were well fed, they was feeding us, and we were over there slung, we were over here on chains and shackles, how they said it was in history, feces, we can't even be around that today. It'll physically kill us to have this many generations of black people here. So the trip don't even make sense. So once I started logically thinking, I realized what it was doing. It's to destroy. It's like parenting. If I tell seven billion people, if you do this and break this and you came from this, I can control you. And then if you do this and do that, basically you guys all following the lines. You step outside that line, you're going to hell. This is hell. Hell is a mind state. Okay. Hell is a state of mind. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna deal with that. Mm -hmm. Now that's a that's the slave ship right there behind me. Mm -hmm. What is that? Literally. No, I. That's supposed to be one of the what? Two or three? That's a slave ship. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean the entire this coast is blood of a slave ship. Right? So that's the actual ship right there behind you. You see the chambers in the bottom? They were out of slaves. They let a little bit of light in. It's a slave ship, brother. Mm -hmm. Our forefathers brought on that slave ship. They have actual ports in West Africa, slave ports, brother. Port Judah, Port Weeda, those are actual slave ports you can go to to this day. You understand? And it shows that our forefathers fought over here. Y'all got good. Y'all gonna be here? No. So that means you gotta stay and listen, brother. All right, so we're could. gonna show you something. Deuteronomy 286. Listen to this real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Listen to this. Yo. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Egyptians had the Israelites in slavery. God said, if you don't keep the commandments, I'm gonna send you back into slavery again. Because I'm sure you heard of the Egyptians. And all of the pyramids, they were built by another nation of people. Right? So the Lord said, if you don't keep the commandments, what's gonna happen? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. On the plane. With, with ships. ships. Who was sent into slavery on ships? Oh. Uh, uh. Right, we were sent to slavery. Now you do have some of our people that was already over here. Right. You do, brother. We're not denying the fact that you had our people over here, a great majority, circumnavigated. Right, they, exactly. They were brought over here. I mean, they, they came over here by choice. Right, had to keep the commandments. But you also had a great portion of our people that was brought over here on ships too, brother. That's the part I can't do. Now think about it. Give me Lamentations 3 and 21. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 21. Yeah. This I record to my mind. Therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. What the Lord say? It, it is, is of the Lord's, Lord's mercy that we, we are, are not consumed. consumed. So the natural man, yeah, maybe they might not have made it, brother. Maybe the natural man or the other nations, they probably would have destroyed themselves being at the bottom of the ships right. and been exterminated, huh? But all things have to be fulfilled. So it's up the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed. They have books to this day that say that the average so-called Negro, it's scientifically impossible for him to survive every violent trauma that we've experienced as a nation uh, and still survive. Hold on, let me finish, brother. They're saying with the food that we were given and the water that we were given in the plantations, they say no other nation of people could ever survive that. That's why the Bible says it's only at the Lord's mercy right. that we're still here. Because any other nation wouldn't have made it through, brother. Y'all ever heard of the goddess Niger? The goddess Niger? Yeah, the goddess Niger. No, I haven't heard of her. Yeah, well, I actually just read a book that actually says the divine origin of the word nigger came from the goddess Niger. Okay, She's all right. supposed to be the great mother goose. The mother goose? Yeah. All right, now check this out, brother. Our people, right? Guess what? We were brought over here on slave ships, right? They still have slave records to this day. They have actual names of slave ships. Then Columbus come over here on actual ships, man. Now, when he came he over here, South America, right? And he came over here. And what did he say? What did he write in his notes? He said that these people would make what great slaves. And then you and, hold up, brother, and he brought them on slave ships to right. Spain and Portugal. 
Right. And what? you know Spain and Portuguese, you know Portuguese, they speak Brazil. Right, yeah, and Brazil, Brazil they speak Portuguese, yeah. right. Right. And you right. know Spain, they speak Spanish. Exactly. And South America is overpopulated speaking Spanish. Yeah. So he never reached this far. No, you're right. I'm not yeah. saying he did. Right? But the point of the matter is, when he landed there, he said that these people made great slaves. And he put them on slave ships. Now the Lord said that that would happen for not keeping the commandments. We were brought over here on ships for disobeying his commandments. It actually happened, brother. Right, right go on. Read on. Verse 28. Read on. Read on. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Now we haven't seen our homeland again as an entire nation. Us as a whole, we have yet to go back to our homeland. The Chinese man can go back to China. The Korean man can go back to Korea. Right. The Italian man can go back to Italy. What country can we all go back to? Funny as you say that. Do you know the answer to that? Yeah. What country? The land of Israel. Which is located in It's on the so-called continent of Africa. Right, but that's so our country. When it was a super massive continent, which they call Pangaea, you don't feel like people in Give me second years, like being six were here. 45. Now, brother, Pangaea, see, mm -hmm. what you're dealing with is you're dealing with, um, you know, Pangaea is a new concept that was just invented, brother. Yeah, I, in the I, 1900s. That's why I say that's not so a, called. That's not what y'all are. But we can say in the history of Earth, it's been a super massive concept. Bring that up, second edge. It wasn't seven. all split. Let me see the Six and forty-five. It's the book of Second Edge, chapter six and verse forty-five. Upon the fourth day, thou commandest that the sun should shine, right. and the moon give her light, and the stars should be in order, and gavest them a charge to do service unto man that was to be made. Upon the fifth day, thou settest unto the seventh part. Unto the what? Unto, unto the, the seventh, seventh part. part. So the Lord divided His creation into seven parts. Right. The waters in the ocean is called the seventh part. Read on. Where the waters were gathered, right? That it should bring forth living creatures. Right? So the Lord had living creatures, fowls and fishes come out the water. Go on. Fowls and fishes, and so it came to pass. Right. For the dumb water, and without life, brought forth living things at the commandment of God. Read. That all people might praise thy, thy wondrous works. Read. Then didst thou ordain two living creatures, the one called as Enoch, and the other Leviathan. And did it separate the one from the other? Right. And for the seventh, so like for the seventh part. For the what? For the seventh uh, part. Uh, right. Namely, where the water was gathered together, might not hold them both. Read. Unto Enoch thou gavest one part, which was dried up the third day. Right. That he should dwell in the same part, wherein are th a thousand hills. Read. But unto Le Leviathan thou gavest the seventh part, namely the moist, and has kept him to be devour of whom thou wilt and when. Read. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Right, the point of the matter is, mm -hmm. yeah, read, read that, King. That's what I want. Verse 4. Yeah, yeah 42. 42. Upon the third day, thou didst command that the waters should be gathered in the seventh part of the earth. Six parts. How many parts? Six, six parts. parts. One great land mass. Six, six parts. parts. Hast thou dried up? and kept them to the intent that of these some being planted of God until might serve thee. So the Lord created the earth into six parts. And the seventh part is what you call the seas or the ocean. Right. So you have six parts of land that God made. Now this part, what they call North and South America, right. was never inhabited prior to our forefathers coming over here. Right. Right? That's in Second Ezra chapter 13 and 40. And in the process of time, the Lord brought what he calls the Southern Kingdom, the Jews over here, via what they so call the Transatlantic Slave Trade. creation story, right? Right. So basically, every, everything starts as a human started from the Jews. Not necessarily. So, no, that, that, that's um, a misnomer, right? right? Christianity says it was just Adam and Eve. Right. It but that's not in the Bible. And it came to Abel, scared of people, so we knew it was more. Right, exactly. Sure. Cain said, everyone that found me uh -huh. shall slay me. Right. So it was more than just Adam and Eve. So give me Genesis what, 5 and 3. What I don't understand is, and genetics, what we understand today, is me and his brother, we have a sister. If we were to be nasty and procreate with our sister, that baby might come out with a finger in his head. The right. DNA messing up. Right. So if it wasn't 7 billion people created then, how could we get so many different races today that are straight and good? I'm you talking, you talking, and 
and everything is good and the genetics is not messed up. I'm gonna show you. Mm -hmm. Bring that up. Bro. Genesis chapter five and verse three. Give me some right, uh, 17. I mean, give me some right, 33 and give me verse 17. Bring that up. Genesis one side one. What I call? No, Genesis chapter five and verse three. And at no, yeah, you right. Stop. Genesis chapter five and verse one. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. Called his name. And called, called their, their name, name Adam. Adam. Called their name Adam. So God didn't make just one male cow, one female cow. Right. One male monkey, one female monkey. One male butterfly, one female butterfly. He made a great mass of his creation. Right. And so when the, the woman was created from the men. No, no, no. They were all made at the same time. Now, when it says he was made out of his rib, right. that's that's a um, that's a metaphor. Yeah. That's a metaphor. That's a poetic way of saying this. Like when you got a woman saying, "Hey, that's my heartbeat." Right. You ever heard people say that? Mm -hmm. Right? Does that mean that's your actual heart beating inside right. your chest? Yeah, I understand. No, that. brother, it's, it's hip talk. Understand this. I'm gonna finish the first point real quick. Just mm -hmm. give me give me one second, because you want to be able to understand the genetic aspect yeah. of it. And God, especially men and females, because you right. only can pass down the Y chromosome to men. Right. And the father. So. Oh, we're going to deal with that. Right. So God made a group of men and females. Right. So. Right? Now go to Genesis chapter 6 and 11. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 11. Female oh. and everything, but not a male. The earth also was corrupt before God. So it came to a point when the earth also was corrupt before God. Read on. And the earth was filled with violence. And the what? And, and the, the earth, earth was filled, filled with violence. violence. Similar to how today's earth is filled with violence. Go on. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. Read. And God said unto Noah, and this during the time of Noah, read. The end of all flesh is come before me. What the Lord said. The, the end, end of all flesh is come before me. me. Read. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So you see that? So the Mosai created Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. created a mass of people, then you had the flood. Right. And out of the flood, you had Noah, mm -hmm. Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives. Yeah, right. Now, that. with that being said, give me Deuteronomy. I mean, it's like it's right, chapter 33 and 17. What's the book of Sirach? Right. Chapter 33, verse 17. Consider that I labor not for myself only. So that's 10. Verse 10. And all men are from the ground, right? And Adam was created of earth, right? And much knowledge the Lord hath divided them. And much no knowledge so beyond. Let me finish real quick. Mm -hmm. This is knowledge beyond the so-called white man's understanding of right. chromosomes and genetics. Mm -hmm. This is beyond Y chromosomes, X meiosis, right. prophase, all of his damn science that he wants to give you, huh? Right. And much knowledge the Lord hath what? Divided them, right? And made their ways diverse. The Lord made their ways diverse. Can I now, ask a question? Let, just let me finish. Mm -hmm. Right? The Lord made, there's a reason why nations look the way they look, and it's explained right. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why, with the Asian man, why he has the eyes he has. Mm -hmm. Why the Hamites have the look they have. Why the Israelites look the way they look. Right? And much knowledge the Lord had divided them and made their ways diverse, even phenotypes. Right? Go on. Some of them have he blessed and exalted. Some people have the blessed. Some nations have, even on a physical level, they have melanin. Other nations don't. Right. Some nations burn up in the sun. Right. And they need SPF 3000. Other nations could just bask in the sun right. and take in all of the vitamin D. Right, go on. And some of them have been sanctified and set near themselves. Some people, even on a spiritual level, have been sanctified and set near God. Right. Some people are put far away from God. Right. Read. But some of them have been cursed. But what? But, but some, some of them have been cursed. cursed. Some nations were created with no melanin, with right. recessive genes, with blue eyes, right. yeah, with blonde hair. Yeah, right? It. Go on. Have he cursed and brought low, read, and turned out of their place. He was in Psalm 15 and 7, read. As the clay is in the potter's hand. As the clay, now you can do what you want to do with clay. Right. You can make a vase beautiful, right? Right. Or you can make an ugly vase. You can do what you want to do with the vase. Right. You can make a vase, set it aside to break it in 10 days. You can set aside a vase and sell it in 10 days. Yeah. Go on. To fashion it at his pleasure, right? So man is in the hand of him that made him. So what? To render to them as liketh him best. Read. Good is set against evil. What the Lord say? Good, good is, is set, set against, against evil. evil. So the end all be all is not necessarily uh, a focus on genetics, brother. Right. So can it's I just a, ask one question? I'm always done. Mm -hmm. It's a focus on righteousness and wickedness, man. Right. So the Lord said good is set against evil. Go on. 
Good is set against evil and life against death. Read. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So when it comes to genetics and the gene pool, it's up to the most high. The so-called white man doesn't, doesn't understand the works of the Lord. He still believes that the sun is revolving, I mean that the earth is literally right now revolving around the sun. Right. To this day, so he believes that we came from monkeys. He believes that a big bang created everything. Right. So his concept of understanding genetics and understanding the ways of the Most High's creation. Right, understanding the ways of the Most High's creation and can't be fully grasped and comprehended. So when you want to use that as a point of argument, right. uh, it's hard coming from a man, not you, but the yeah, man who got it from the so-called white yeah, man who's already yeah, wrong with many things, brother. Yeah, I, and then ask, so you believe this almighty, most powerful, the most high, you say God, that's a, a masculine energy. You see, do I believe that? Yes. Go to Exodus 15 and 3. Of course, well, brother. Right? Of course. Give me some. So how come the woman housed the womb? Exodus chapter 15. You say what? How come the woman housed the womb? Because that's the way the most I made the womb. Right? Then, it, even that's with what? plants, though. They right. spread the seed and pollen is a sperm and a masculine energy. But once you get down to the egg, they house the womb. So you never try to look at it from a... What if this almighty, this one divine creation was a feminine man? No, brother, because guess what, brother? How do you create men? From men. All right. But it's a female, you need a female to create everything. Yeah, but the and most it's not a he's men, not... it's not a, a, a traces of, basically, it's not traces of men and females, but you have the feminism in everything. Right, but the most side, he's beyond, he's not flesh and blood. Right. Like the most, like the most side doesn't have straight up. The most side don't have a penis. Right. He doesn't have testicles. Right. Yeah. In terms of how how yeah, man is, like doesn't have veins. Yeah, just like masculine right? energy. The most side's a spirit. Right. Like the angels are a spirit. Yeah. Right. Now bring that up. This is book of Exodus chapter fifteen and verse three. Right. Oh. The Lord is a man of war. Read that again. The, the Lord, Lord is, is a man, man of war. war. One more time. The, the Lord, Lord is a man, man of war. war. Read. Yeah. The Lord is his name. Hold on. You said what? Read it again. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. The Lord is a man of war. Now, so when it said, no, no, I'm gonna show this. Now, the Lord, guess what? The word Lord in all caps is right. really Yahweh. So God's name is Yahweh. Now, Yahweh literally means He is, or He exists. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it shows you the Most High is a man. Right. Now, with that being said, the Most High made male and female, because He can do that. He's the Most High. He can do what He wanted to. Give me right. Revelation four and eleven. Now, I want to focus on that before we deal with war. Right, the most high, he's a man. Right, Revelation 4 and 3. I mean, uh, 4 and 11. Revelation chapter 4 and verse number 11. We know. Oh. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Give me Numbers 23 and 19. But thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. They what? They are oh, and, and were created. created. For his pleasure they are and were created. So you have to have a just balance. Right, you just can't create. 20,000 men because like you even made the point you need females right you need soil for the seed you can't have all soil and no seed so there's a just balance feminine well you have male and you have females right so yeah you have male and females right but it still doesn't make sense to the all the, the divine the most divine and the almightiest creation is the man why not? Why not, brother? Even instead of elaborating on a war, it just doesn't make that much sense if you want your sentient life beings to be a peaceful creation to spread love, positivity. Yeah. Coming yeah. from those type of, of aggression. Does the most I have peace within the spirit? I mean You think he's just war? From can all you be a man of war and still from love? All of can, you, can you be a man of war and still love your wife? It depends. Can you still show love towards your brother? Do you have to kill your brother because you're a man of war? But that's what it seemed like we do today. Uh, well, you think about white man war, right? No, I'm, Why you I'm, no, about, I'm saying you think even about this within, concept, brother. No, I'm saying even within my community. I didn't. I grew up on Pennsylvania Avenue. Right. And it was not one white person trying to take what I had. Well, bro, well that's the story for another day, brother. They took your nationality you. and they put the drugs and the guns all up on that community. But it's they, right. They, right. So King James not a white man? No, King James definitely not a white man. <laughs> right. He was black. Right. Yeah, he a black man, brother. Yes. Now, oh, you don't have. And this was in 13th York. century, right? You said what? It's 13th century, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, no, King, King, no, King James version. The King James version we got is 1611. 1611. Oh, 13th century was Ethiopian. 
Yeah, I, I, I All right, 1611, right? I going off of that. Look, look, look at this. Yeah. They confused, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's King a, Jacob of Ivernia, King Jacob. Mm -hmm. All right? So his name is King Jacob. He was the king of... So who's 1611? Who got the 1611? He, he wrote couple. this version of the Bible. He didn't write it, brother. He, he authorized the translation authorized of it. Authorized the translation of it. Yeah, he authorized the trans. Like if you gave a green light to somebody to copy your, your right. class yeah, from English it. to Spanish. Right, yeah, I got it. What it was from Hebrew to Latin or? Yeah, from Hebrew right. and Greek into so the English. So what about the Sumerian tablets? What, is, what, what, are, what are the Sumerian tablets? They are older than every version of the, the Bible or what you say. Brother, I, brother I've never heard of the Samaritan tablets. And what, I mean, I'm not sure what they have to do with the Bible. It's just because something's like older, Bible. hold on, let me say this. Just because something is older, two things doesn't make it better, and it doesn't correlate. No, I mean, would you drive a Model T car because it's older? If I wanted to, I would do but it it's for not the better, screen. Brother. Just because something is older doesn't mean it's better. It just makes those tablets makes more sense about creation. You can read those man. tablets. Yeah. What are they written in? Are they written in English? No, one yeah. version of it was translated in Hebrew, and then they translated that into Latin. Okay, we're going to deal with that. Bring that up. Now listen to this. It says, first the word... This Sumer, the Sumerians, not Samaritans, they had a script called cuneiform. Right, right. Right? Cuneiform is wedges and locks. That's what it means. So it's not written. It's not necessarily a language, brother. Right? It, those are characters. It's a way of writing. It's a script. A script is... Hold on. A script a is different. A script is different than an actual language. Right. It's, a, it's a writing. It's like writing in cursive. Right. Right? Or writing in print. It's different, it's different fonts, right? But like it's not necessarily down to the average cuneiform is not a language. That tells you that we have melody the definition of it is. First, the word about terminology. Hold on, bro. Listen to this. Most English readers. No, no, no. Read, read the beginning. Is that the first? Yeah, that's the beginning. No, I said to the most high. The English one of them say to the most high, the mighty God, mighty prince. Yeah, it might be in the uh, right before you go to the Genesis. English. They used to speak when right. that was. Originally created. Oh, give me one English second. Derived from German, up. Dutch, and French. Yeah. yeah. Bring that up. Bring it up, Malika. Yeah, no, Check this out, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Cuneiform yeah. is a logo. So, like your logo, syllabic yeah. script. Is a what? Is a logo, syllabic script. Right, a low. White. You listen to brother. I'm going to show you. Check mm -hmm. this out, brother. There it is. Hold on, hold on. That's what we want to read that. Okay. To the most high and mighty prince. Look, to the most high and mighty prince. James, by the grace of God, King of Great Britain. King of what? Great King of Great, Great Britain. Britain. What else? France. And France. And Ireland. And Ireland. Defender of the faith. Now, now last time I checked, the white man is not a defender of the faith. Right. Last time I checked, the white man is rape, robbery, and murder. Right? Right. Right. And slaying Native Americans and enslaving black people and right. killing us, man. Right. Right. right? I've never seen a so-called white man be a defender. If the white man was a defender of the faith, he wouldn't make Jesus Christ a white man. Right. right. Or make the angels white. Or I make know God so many white. brothers and sisters right? that look up to that person. Right, right brother. But the point I'm making is to show you King James cannot be a white man being right. a defender of the faith and yet be a hypocrite and make him a white man. That's right. right? And yet in the Bible, called, still have the words of him being a so-called black man. I mean, it would, make right. sense. it would make sense if you wanted that man to be idolized. If you wanted him to be idolized, shouldn't it match the book? I would, I would lie. I would translate, make up stories, and then have just one race of people. But, but think about it, brother. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Think about it. it. If this, if King James is a white man. So you believe he hold, walked out? Hold, hold on, let me finish. If King James is a white man, and I want to find out about Jesus Christ, do not have to go in the Bible and find out about him? Yes. So if I go in the Bible and I want to read about him, right. shouldn't the description of Jesus Christ match what they're giving you? Yeah. But does it according to the Bible? No, it does not. No. So how could King James be a white man? But it's versions of the Bible that they have that match that description. Where? What version? There's no version in any Bible from the new international sure that? version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. Every version is going to have sure a variation yeah, of right, copper bro. and brass. Right. Every version. No version of the Bible says yes. Yeah, Five hundred dollars on this. Bible. Brother, we'll, brother, we, brother, we'll pack up and leave. Right. 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 We'll, we'll pack up and leave. Somebody pull up Bible Hub. Yeah, get it. Type in Revelation one and fourteen. Right. Book of Revelation one and fourteen. Yeah. I, Read that, King. Not the right. Book of Revelation one. 14. Yeah. Let another brother. Book of Revelation, chapter one. In yeah, verse number 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. They were what? Yeah, white, white like wool. wool. But if I'm a so-called <coughs> white man, then I'm going to have to change that and say, well, Jesus Christ's hair is stringy and long. 
in order to fit the image that they pro propagate throughout wow. the world. Right. Go on. As white as snow. That's not as white as snow. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. If I want to deceive the people, I'm not going to put a white image out there and yet put a black image in the Bible. Right. It would right. make no sense. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. This man doesn't have bronze skin. At Read all. on. As if they burned in a furnace. So yet again, if I'm a white man, that's probably the most important verse I want to take out. I want to Read take it again for me. Read it again. Because this is monumental. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right? right. And his feet like man. unto fine well, hold grass. On, hold on, hold on. Like Where, where's the verse that says that his hair is like lamb's wool? And his feet we were like reading bronze. it right here. Let it, read it again from the top. Come. Hold that case. His head and his hairs were white like wool. There you go. Like the Lord wool. has woolly hair. The wow. image that they give wow. you that was made. Wow, wow. white like wool. Because wool is the texture and the color is white as snow. And then it says you have different. Like bronze, right? All right, we're going to show you that. Go on. Oh. It's white as snow. Right, you have different wool. You have black wool, you got bronze, mm -hmm. brown wool. Right. right, you got black sheep, so you got different color wool. So this but is why white. why use that description if you want your melanated people to believe you are a melanated people? Hold on, brother. The point that we're attacking is the point that you're saying that King James is a white man. So if King James I is a. I believe he walked the earth and I believe King James. Okay, if you believe King James is a white man, do white people have black in, black people's best interests at heart? Not from what I understand. Right. No. no. Right. So if I don't have your best interests at heart, I should want to deceive you, right? It's the deception right there. So if I want to deceive you, I'm going to make Jesus Christ a white man, right? Or I can just tell you you're a Christian, you're a Muslim, yeah. and confuse right, you. Right, but right now we're dealing with Jesus Christ. Right. So I would make him a white man, right? I wouldn't make him a black man because I wanted to see him. But they perceive him to be a white man. Right, brother, they, brother, that's because they don't read the Bible. Right. The Bible is plain that he's a black man. But it's written by a white man. Okay, but let's do it. Brother, listen. Why would a white man make Jesus Christ be described as a black man but yet paint him as man. a white man? He's describing a white man. How? How is he white? How is bronze skin read white? Again. Yeah. Read, read it again. His head and his hair were white like wool as white as snow. And his eyes... His hair, his hair is woolly and white. Brother, you gotta listen. Brother, listen. I'm listening. Look, look, look at the elder Nasha eye. And when I see snow, he has woolly hair. Snow is white. Right, and his woolly hair and white. So it's woolly and white. Right. Right, like, like the elder right here. Or like the elder right here. Right. That's woolly and white. Right? Right here, brother. That's woolly hair. That's woolly hair and it's white. Right. Right. Go on. That's right. Gray. And his eyes were as a it's flame gray. of fire. All right, all right, that's great, but this is it. white. If, if Go on. could have described it better than feet. that if you wanted him to be portrayed him as a melanin. But, but let us just finish, all right? Let us finish. Mm -hmm. right. And then with the fire in his but, eyes for? We can explain that. Right. All right. Give eyes, me. Our eyes are brown, like brown. Right. Any other race of people with any other different color come from brother, let us just finish we're going to explain it brother right right just give us a chance because we may answer your question before you even ask it. right all right give me genesis 49 and 12 read that verse 15 give me proverbs 23 and 29 and his feet like unto fine brass read that again and his feet like unto fine, fine brass in the book of genesis no 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 this is revelation okay. his feet his skin color is fine brass read on as if they burn in a furnace. So if you take brown and burn it, what color does it turn? Black, dark, dark brown or black. Mm -hmm. So is this describing a white man? Read it again. Read it one more time. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So is this describing a white man? When I see white homeless people, I'm down, down, brother. I'm down. Come on, brother. Where are you going with this, brother? <laughs> brother, how can you be going? Where are you going with this? I'm down, brother. Take a shoot. That's tough. Frostbites and everything. Read that verse again for me. Yeah. It, that shit looked burnt. It looked crusty and it looked messed up. <laughs> Read it again. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Now, give me Daniel 10 to 5. That's this obviously a black man, brother. Right down you tend to follow. This is a book of Daniel. You want to look, look, I'm gonna read it to be slow. That way. Okay, look, read this. Daniel chapter 10 and verse 5. Get out. Get out. And I lifted up my eyes and looked 
and behold, a certain man. Give me Genesis. So if all uh, of us 42. pull our feet out Hold right on, now, brother, brother, let like us that. finish. Let us finish. Give me Genesis 42 and 7. Give me Exodus 4 and 6. Give me Job 30 and 30. And then while I'm speaking about Jesus in the book of Genesis. Listen to this. Clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with the fine gold of youth. Let me just finish the, the verse. Because he was born Bro, there's only nine Testament. more words. Testament. His, I, you can't on. explain. Brother, this. can we finish? You can't describe Jesus to me in the book of Genesis. Brother. When he was supposed brother, to be born. Brother, we're reading that day. He was supposed to be born in the book of Genesis. His yeah. body uh, also. Hold on, hold on. Read it one more time from the top. His mother was, was our virgin mother. No, but if you go to John. Can we, can we finish this verse, brothers, please? Uh, I know, but can we allow, can we finish this? All right, uh, can y'all go to John After, All right, but I'm saying, can we finish this first? Yeah, it is. Answer the question. All right, let us finish. Y'all going to listen to this. Can we complete it without y'all cutting it off? I got you, baby. All right, go on. His body also was like the burrow, right. and his face as the appearance of lightning, Breathe. and his eyes as lamps of fire, Breathe. and his arms, and his what? And, and his, his arms! arms. And his what? And, and his, his arms. arms! Arms! And what? And his feet! And his feet! Like in color! Color! To polish brass! Arms, feet, his body, his so what? So explain the lightning. Dark brown. brown. So, hold on, before we explain the lightning, do we understand that this cannot be described in a white man? Right. Read it again. Well, bro, I know we're not going to read it again. So, describe read me it. right now. Huh? Describe me right now. If we describe you, we, 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 it fits this, brother. I do not fit that this Your year. arms don't have breasts. You're not the color breasts. All right, I'm brother. Right. So, 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 brother. brother right. Come on, brother. You have brown skin. That's right. But we got we got deal with it. We got deal right, with it, brother. We got, got melanated people, right? That appear lighter and darker than me. But you still have brown skin. Still yeah, brown. Yeah, you said describe you. Me. Yo, and what's the color of your skin? Yeah, his I skin got, is not brown. You're, 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 yeah, you're on the lighter side. And right here. But he's light. Yo, brown. He's brown. Uh, that's not, uh, not brown. What color? Brown. That's not brown. What color? That's not brown. Well, what color? It's like a light tan. He's brown. That's brown. That's a brown. Oh, give me, give me, give me the book of uh, uh, Song of Solomon. Come on, I got it's you. Let me brown, get this Song of Solomon. You grab a crayon and grab brown. That's supposed to be me. Hold on, hold on. Order, order. Song of Solomon. No, fuck you. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter one of five. Bring it up. Hold on. Have you heard of King Solomon? Listen to what King Solomon said. I am black. I am what? I, I am, am black. black. I am what? I am black. I am what? I, I am, am black. black. He said, I'm a black man. Read it again. See that? Man, he keeps on. I no, am I black. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let the brother listen. Who, Read it again. Who is I am black. King Solomon. King Solomon? Yes, King oh, yeah. Solomon. Read it again. I, I am, am black. black. But, but come, oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the sins of the Lord. As the prince of Solomon. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Hold on. But they trying to explain to you that Jesus is saying, Come on, brother. No, I'm saying, y'all just said who that was speaking. And that's his ancestor. Right. That's his forefather. Right. Right. Brother, that's his forefather. So he's going to look like his forefather. It's really him on the spirit. Right. You know? So he's a so called black man, brother. Right. According to the Bible. And their creator, which is supposed to be his, his father, God. Had the same DNA as well? No, no, God doesn't have DNA. Right? Uh, right? Yeah. He's a spirit. But now, when he was put, he was made in the earth, he was born through the so genealogy. His mom was a virgin. No, brother. No. His, he was born through the genealogy of King David, right? Through the lineage of King David. All right. The point, let's stick to one point at a time. And the Bible cannot be describing him as a white man. All right, let me explain Dude, this. I brother, hold on, let me my finish. Great -grandfather brother, I'm a had third base. Let me, brother, let me, let me go home. You can't brother, I'm on third they, base, brother. Forefathers walk the earth. Brother, let me finish. I'm on third base. Let me let me steal home, brother. So, you said that the Lord is a white man. No, I ha did not. Okay, you said this describing a white man. Based I off, they want you to believe. That. Okay, based off of what we read in Revelation and Daniel, with bronze skin, afros, could that be a white man? Yeah, but y'all not describing him. I know we're not describing people. him because the that's the point of the matter. Right, but I was asking about. It. Person. They're not going to describe him in the Bible, brother, They're because right. he's not written up in the Bible. That's right. This is what they have given you, and or that's whatever the point Jesus. that the white man didn't write the Bible. Whatever Jesus. Actual Yahweh, the person that died, he was black. So he, he, he walked the earth. Yeah, he walked the earth. He was born through energy. 
No, 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 no. Right. No. Hey, what, do you like me? what do you mean by energy? Like how you know how Give me Acts 2 and 3. I'm going to get a few more. Give me Acts 2 and 3. Give me Romans 1 and 3. Give me Acts. That's why we got that's why we gotta be born again. Right. We gotta be born again. No, enlighten me on the official version. I'm explaining it for you. Right. But do we understand that he cannot be a white man according to the Bible? To the Bible. I understand that they could have well, tricked you to me. Well, I got, actually, I got a question. Wait, here. do you understand like that? We're all confused oh, out here. Understand you understand, understand that? that. So, but it seems okay. like we are, we are all confused. No, 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 no we're not confused. I think the question that I want to ask is like, what's, oh, what's, more, the question? what's more important, whether we believe in Yahweh being the son of the Lord? So, or let me ask you this. Oh, 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 let me hear his question, brother. Brother, you had the floor for a minute. What's the difference between y'all two? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me answer his question. So, I guess, like, my question is, like, what's more important? Um, Give me John 7 and 38. What's more important? Uh, people Bible understanding said. that Yahuwah was a Hebrew or people understanding who Yahuwah was following the commandments and all that jazz. Oh, what about you? And actually getting in salvation. Right. All right, all right, first things. and foremost, there's nobody named Yahuwah. Right. In the spirit right. world or in the earthly love. Right. God's but name is, is Yahuwah. Right. His son's right. name is Yahuwah Shah. Right. With that, with that they, being they, they, they said, you're talking about it, with, it, with, with that we're, we're being said, what is most important? He said he did I mean, Acts 7 and 35. And 38. Obviously. Hold on, Acts 7 and 38. The book of Acts! I mean, it's like John, John. It's like John 7 38. Book of John, chapter 7! Brother, can we answer your question? Hold on, John 7. John chapter 7 and verse number 38. Now, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of, as the scripture has said, that's the imagination. As the scripture has said. So what's most important? Believing on him as the scripture has said. That's right. So guess what the scripture sounds like a get, mental trick. No, no, guess what the scriptures cover. The scriptures cover is, both aspects not really of the question. They cover who he is, what he came to do, and if he's a Hebrew. It all matters, brother. Yeah. The scriptures cover everything. So it's, so no it's not a, outside of earth? It's not a matter of what's more important than the other. It's, it's about not, what's it's, written it's and no believing what's written earth? and holding it in regard yeah. according no to the fear of the Lord. Right. Read on. Huh. Come on, brother. Like, out of his belly no, shall right. flow right. rivers of living water. What the Lord say? Out of his yeah. belly shall yeah. flow rivers yeah. of living water. Give me Micah 5 and 1. It's the wisdom, Micah. knowledge, no, and understanding. That, though. Out explain of your mind I mean, is going to issue out explain wisdom, it. knowledge, and understanding if you believe the Bible as it is written. Right. As it is written. Right. right. Now read but that. Micah chapter 5 creator, and verse 1. Now, hold on. Now gather thyself like in truth. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on, brother. We got you. We got you. We got you, brother. Right in Now gather thyself in truth. O daughter of troops, so he have laid a siege against us. Read. They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. Read. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah. So Jesus Christ, he was born in Bethlehem. Where's Bethlehem from? Bethlehem is in uh, near that Jordan in Israel. It's one of the highest places in the world. Right. What continent? That's a... Uh, uh, Egypt, North, everything. It's, it's uh, close to Egypt. Like it's like a little Africa, Mediterranean, right? So-called continent of Africa. All right. So Jesus Christ was born in Africa, mm. right? Which means, could he look like? But they this? want you to believe that. No, well, brother, that's what the scriptures say. Right, right. You have an actual nation of people called the Jews who live the earth. Right? So the point of the matter is... you had an actual... Listen, the American people that right, walk the earth as Yeah, well. yeah, we understand that. And they but right now we're talking, about the, we're talking about Jesus Christ, right? Right. And he would be a Jew, right, from Bethlehem, yeah. on a continent inhabited by a complete race of dark people. Right. So why, again, would he be a so-called white man? So it matters, brother, tying it all together because the Bible describes him about what he looks so like, so who he came from, so and it describes his message. Right. And his Jewish message was what? Give me the book of Matthew Don't identify themselves. Here's his message. Right. Here's his message. Nah, Here's his message. That's, that's part of that. Right? Matthew 15 nah, and 24. Saying, so it's the book of Matthew, so chapter 15. So Here, here's his so message. Total power. Look. That they, they, right. they run it's the book you're giving too much credit to the white man, brother. No, I'm telling you. Brother, you're giving him too much power. He doesn't have no power. Power, brother. Right. He has saying. no power unless you give him power. No. That's right. 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 I gave him that power anyway, no, brother. Right. I'm right. saying you're you giving him said, too much power. So basically, right. you're Israel, Jewish, right? What? I'm saying it, black people are Israel Jewish. So called blacks, Hispanics, right. and Native Americans are the Israelites. Right. That's right. Jewish. Jewish. Not Jewish. Not Jew no, Not. these people are Jewish. They have robbed your identity. And yeah, to yeah, be yeah. I'm saying. So we got so lost in history that we allowed this to happen. Because this It'll, is dominating the world. Yeah, absolutely actually, right. it talks about that. Absolutely right. Exactly but right. Absolutely why right. can't we as a species and now divine creator, 
created us to spread this, come together to stop this. We are right now. That's what we're doing right now. Right, literally. But right. outside of y'all, 845 right now. We're doing that right now. Bro. Yeah, that's right. Right. in this Stop situation, the words of the Lord, but I, right, I, I can right. go to a community right now right. that might actually attack y'all for talking like that. And they well, look brother, just like me and brother, you. Brother, we've been to communities like that. Right. 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 So and why don't what? it work for us? Well, brother, our people are under curses. That's right. Under the and curses. you don't think this is the curse? No, no. The curse oh. is written in Deuteronomy 28. Yeah, I being evil towards your brother. Right. Are you being rebellious? You don't think the whole hard, book hard. itself is a curse? So hold on, before we get no. to that point, right. oh, I'm, I'm going to finish this brother's question. I'm not a bad Can person, I finish your question, brother? I do so much you with the community, you good, so much for... So, so do I. You yeah. good, brother? So I, but we we going to wrap no, look. I wanna, right, I wanna, brother, I wanna, good. Where's my sentient come from? Where's my sentient come from? Why I'm not being and shunned? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and we the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. We got to wake up and return back to the Lord. I was trying to answer they his not. question, but I didn't know they if you not. wanted me to answer it or not. I got you, bro. Did you want me to answer his question? Yeah, no, I want to answer. I want you to answer. All right, all right, now now read that real quick. What I call Acts 2 and 30. Uh, weren't y'all in Micah? Or? We read Micah, but oh, go okay. to Acts 2 and 30. Book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse number 30. Right? Oh. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that oh, yeah. of the fruits of his loins, According to the flesh, according to the spirit, according, according to, to the, the flesh, flesh, right? He will raise up Christ to sit on his throne. So Jesus Christ came from the lineage of King David by yeah. birth, right? By blood. He has an actual biological father by the name of Joseph from the house of David. That's yeah. right. Now, what's his message? Matthew 15 and 24. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Right. Oh. But he answered and said, I am not sent. I am what? I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So his message is, I'm only here for How my can y'all prove his family his lineage? His like, I can prove my forefathers because I'm here. So where's his where's his family so, today? Hold on, like, where's that if lineage it, today? I can't Romans, hear you, brother. Don't it say in Romans 3 that, um, that salvation comes from the that question Gentiles? Yeah, it says that. All right, so. Well, who are those it, Gentiles? Yeah, who yeah, answer that question. What is a Gentile if God is Jesus here for both? Give me a Baruch. Chapter 4 and 24. Right? Give me Psalms chapter 14 and give me verse 7. Give me Jeremiah 3 and 23. Give me Isaiah 46 and 13. Then give me Malachi chapter 3 and 6. Book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse number 24. No. Like as snow, the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. Right? So, so read it read it again. So like it. Like as like as now. Right, like as now. Hold on. Like as now. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So our neighbors, oh. turn that around. So hold on, let, let me finish the brother's question. Yeah. About Gentiles. Hold on, brother, we're going to deal with it, right? Yeah. Now, because our neighbors are the, brother, you listening? White, white you listening? people. History. Our neighbors yeah. are those who had us in captivity. You would agree that the so-called white man and the other nations the black man put us in slavery, right? Make it right. Wait, I'm sorry. Can you like, you like one second? I want to hear the same mm -hmm. what they're saying. Would you agree? That the other nations put us in slavery. Uh, what no, do you mean? Talking about other happen. nations, other outside of the Israelites. Outside. Of Israelites when you read the happen. Bible, don't the other don't the other nations put the Israelites in slavery? Yeah, Babylon. All right, that's uh, right, that's right. Yeah, so read it again. Romans. Uh, that's read. right, that's right. Like as now, the neighbors of Zion yo, yo, have yo, seen yo, your I captivity. Can't, can't hold on, hold on, hold on. Read on. Read on. I can't hear. Like as now, the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. Read on. So shall they. So shall they. Who's the they? Are the, uh, they, the neighbors that they were talking about. Right, but are the they Israelites? Uh, no, that they are the neighbors. Everybody that's not an Israelite. That's right. So show Which everybody cool. that's not Israelite do what? See shortly that's your salvation. salvation. No, see their salvation. Your, your salvation. See their salvation. Your, your salvation. Other nations. Your, your salvation. salvation. God said the other nations are going to see the Israelite salvation. That's right. So how right. can salvation. And the other nations are. Hold on, everybody that's not on this side. Right. So how could the other nations receive salvation when God said they're going to watch you be saved? And how old is, and how so old? So, actually, do you guys have the, uh, any Greek or Hebrew epitomology books here? Epitom, epitomology? Like, whatever it is, the thing that, the thing that we're, etymology. Etymology. etymology, is that what it's called? Etymology. Yeah, yeah. Etymology. That's because, breaking um, down, like, the history at my, of In my house, I got the Bible, King James, that okay. uh, got the, um, what is it? The, uh, it breaks down the Hebrew word and what it actually. But how says. old are the other right, other nations? Right how old are the other nations? Now so, listen, hold on, listen. So what's the Hebrew word when it says your and there? Because sometimes things get lost in translation when it comes to. And Hebrew is out a, a language originally for our people as well. Listen, yeah. Listen. 
No, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I really want to be enlightened. I really want to be enlightened. I don't want to offend no one. I just really want to know because it seemed all confusing to me. All and right, it shouldn't right, well, be this confusing. Well, well but, listen, listen. To be honest, brother, if you was to be quiet for 10 minutes, no, it might make sense. No, so no let I'm, down, brother. It might make sense because you so can't why understand. If predominantly you people who right. speak Hebrew brother, are not to, like us. I'm trying to help you understand why you're not understanding. Well, because you keep talking, brother. Right. All right. You got to you gotta at least give us five minutes to make it make sense. And all then right. if you want to come in, we can deal with each one of your points. Right. But it, all right, come. It's like, but it would never, no disrespect, brother, but no, it would never make it's sense all love, if you keep, I'm you know what I'm saying, you keep coming in. Well, no, this is the thing. It's like, no, you're not. Finish, brother. You no, you know, he doesn't want to listen. You're and they, right? You asked about you're and they. Yeah, you're and they. Now, listen. Now, listen. The Lord said that these other nations would see your salvation. Now, what is the definition of salvation? Salvation is be saved. Is that correct? Let's pull up the definition of salvation. It's to be delivered from a state of harm or ruin, mm -hmm. right? And give me somebody, give me Luke 1 and 68. Uh -huh. The book of Hello? Luke 1 and 68. The book of Luke, chapter I'm, 1 I'm on my way and verse I'm, number 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. What the Lord say? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Right. And have raised up an horn of salvation. A horn of salvation. For us. For everybody. For, for us. us. Zacharias was what? They think of Valet. Uh, Zacharias. John the Baptist's John the Baptist's father. Uh, was he not Hebrew? Yeah, he was vale. an Israelite. Yeah. So he said, Lo the Lord has raised up salvation for us. For us. He's speaking to all of Israel when he comes out the temple. Right, go on. In the house of his servant David. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Which have been since the world began. That what? Right. That David we. Is. That everybody. That David. we. Hold on. That we. He's saying we are the Israelites. Right. That we. Should be saved. That we should be saved. From our enemies. That's what salvation is. So where did it go Being wrong? Being saved if from your enemies. So Read. And if from the hand of God. all. Hold on, brother. I thought you said. You said give me all yeah, of it, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, brother. All right. All right. All right. That we should be saved from our enemies. Go off. And. We got you, brother. We got you. And. And from the hand of all that hate us. So who are the enemies of the Israelites? Uh, the enemies of the Israelites. That they. So people that are we speak of they. Everybody that's not an right, Israelite. They. So Everybody God said, them. hold on. God said that we so are I going to be, this? hold on. That we are going to be saved from our enemies. Same that's thing right. Baruch said. Our enemies are going to watch us be saved. Right. right. But how so, come it seem like we're the hardest nation of people to come together? Oh, because those it, it, are the it questions. About the, it talks about it in the Bible. Right? But, now, um, now I, hold on. I, hold like, on. I have a follow-up question to that? Yeah, I'm not After done your first one. I got three more for your first one. Three more verses. Three more verses. Okay, cool. All right, now, what else I call? Psalms 14 and 7. Right? Quick precept for the Gentiles. Malachi Give me the book three. of Romans 9 and 10. Psalms chapter 14 and verse 7. Oh. Oh, that the salvation of Israel. Salvation of everybody. Salvation, salvation of, of Israel. Israel. Oh, that the salvation of Israel. We keep reading the salvation for our people. Read on. We're come on, out this of. This is Psalms 14 and 7. Psalms 14 and 7. All right. right, go on. We're come out of Zion. Salvation needs to come out of Zion. Read. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. So his people are in captivity. Read. Jacob thing. shall rejoice. Hold on, hold on. This is a prophecy. Because David's not in captivity at this time. Right in the Psalms. So, David, uh, hold on. David slew the, Am the Amorites, the Ammonites, so, the Philistines, everybody. Curses, so this right? is a future prophecy Justice that links one. up what, what Zechariah said and Luke the first that chapter. Part of the curses, right? right? Go on. Slavery and the, the three hundred years of slavery. We understand. They they were all part of the curses as well. Uh, can, can I? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. We got you, brother. Go on. Jacob shall rejoice. No, everybody's going to rejoice. Jacob, Jacob shall, shall rejoice. rejoice. The whole world is going to rejoice. Jacob, Jacob shall, shall rejoice. And what? And Israel shall be glad. So the Lord said that one people are going to be glad when salvation comes. Who is those people? The Israelites. Now, Romans 9 and 10. Who are the Romans in, in the New Testament? Book of Romans. Who, hold on. Who are the Romans in the New Testament? Romans in the New Testament. That's the people that are under Caesar, right? What, I mean, yeah. Caesar's reign, was it not? what nation of people? What's their, what's their modern day race or ethnicity? Modern day race? Oh, they're modern day white people. Modern day white people. Right. Right. Romans 9 and 10. Book of Romans, right. chapter 9 and verse number 10. Was Paul, no. was Paul the Roman? Uh, no, Paul was a uh, Israelite. Mm. He wasn't a Roman? No. You sure? Okay. Paul the Baptist? Paul the person? He was uh, he used to be a Pharisee. Give me Acts, okay. chapter 22. Acts chapter 22 and verse 20, 20, 25. 20, 25. 
and as they bound him with thongs. Listen to this. They bound Paul with ropes or thongs. Go on. Paul said unto the centurion, centurion that stood by, right? Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman? Paul said, is it lawful for you to beat me and I'm a Roman? Was Paul a Roman? Is Paul a Roman? I'm not sure. Let me get the, Read it again. The, no, Read there's it. another verse that, hold on, hold on. Read, that said where Paul let's, said he was part of the of tribe of Benjamin. Yeah, we know that. Right. But he's also a Roman. Right. How is he both? What, are you um, an American? Yeah, that's oh, there you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> but you're also really an Israelite. Uh, uh, so is every Roman a white person? Uh, no, Romans 9 and 10. I'm going to Book show of you. Romans chapter 9 and verse number 10. Listen no. And it's not only this. Like Just a little bit for now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all right, that. brother. I feel you. And yeah. not only this. And not only this. But when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. Does everybody come out of Isaac? Does everybody come out of Isaac? No. What people come out of Isaac? Because whoever reading his letter, they're saying our father is Isaac, right? So who is he writing his letter to? Uh, which um, what are you talking about? Where are we coming out of for that? Romans, Romans. chapter Romans. nine. Oh. And so verse who are these Romans? Those are, he's he's uh, talking to the to the church. But the what church nationality are they? Their father's Isaac. Mm. Okay. Right. So who are they? Uh, they must be Hebrews. They're the Israelites, right? Right. So in Romans, when we're saying Jew nor Gentile, let's find out what we're talking about, man. Huh? Right? Give me Romans chapter 10 and um, start at verse 13. Romans chapter 10 and verse number 13. No. No. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Read. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Read. And how shall they believe in him? Of whom they have not heard, Read. and how shall they hear without a preacher? So the Lord said, Everyone who calls upon him shall believe. That's Jews and that's Gentiles. You can read that in Romans, the second chapter. Right. Now, if this letter of the Romans is written to the Israelites, is every here's the follow question Is every Israelite a Jew? Is every Israelite a Jew? Right. Not exactly. Okay, so if every Israelite's not a Jew, which Israelites aren't Jews? Which is Jews. Well, the ones that are the Jews, it's Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right. So the ones that aren't the Jews, it's any Israelite that's not Judah, Benjamin. So why do they identify themselves? Because they stole our identity and our right. heritage. Right. 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 Yeah. Now, so where these did Gentiles, it go wrong? Hold on, these Gentiles, why, what, well, I'm almost uh, done. Happened in the, uh, these Gentiles yeah, are Catholic Israelites church. who live like the but ways the of the other nations. Right. Those who the Gentiles are. They're Israelites like, who follow the customs of the, the heathen. Right. Romans chapter 9 and go to verse like, 28. Romans chapter 9 and Listen. verse number 28. Listen. Listen. Oh. For he will finish. Start at 24. Verse number 24. Oh. Even us. Even us. Whom he hath called, not of the Jews only. Not of the Jews only. But also of the Gentiles. But also of the Gentiles. Read on. As he saith also in O.C., I will call them my people. As he said also in what? In O.C. Who's O.C.? That's Hosea. So Paul is saying the same way it's written in Hosea, the first chapter, I will call them my people. Who are what? I will call them my people, which were not my people. Who did Hosea say wasn't his people? Who are these Gentiles that Hosea said are not his people? The people that were in right? Let's find out. Because whoever these people are, God is calling them the Gentiles in the New Testament. Right, Let's see what they're called in the Old Testament. Hosea one. And six. Hosea chapter one Why and verse number six. Oh. I'm about to explain it. And she conceived oh, again and bare a daughter. And God said unto him, Call her name Lo Ru Ruma. Right. Ruma. Right. That's not my people. That's in the Hebrew. La ah, I'm Yah. No people. Go on. For I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel. But what? But I will utterly take them away. Read. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah. And will save them by the Lord their God. So the Lord said, what people aren't his people? The house of Israel. And Hosea, it says, the house of Israel, which are your northern kingdom, right? They're not his people. But in the New Testament, God says, okay, there was a time where you're not called my people. So my but now, hold on. But now you're called my people. You follow? But now you're being called my people. Okay. Does that make sense? So what? So you just came out of Hosea what? One and six. I'm going to write okay, it down. Let me, um, let me write that down for real quick. So you came out of Hosea. We read we read Romans 9 to 24. 
Oh, and okay. we went to Hosea one and six. Let me look at my notes real quick so I can write that down. All right, take your time. Um, All right, take your time. So, because Paul is referencing so the Paul, Old Testament. So Paul was referencing in Hosea. Romans, Hosea and what? Romans what? And Romans 9 and 24 and down. 9 and 24 and down. Right. He's right. referencing Hosea chapter 1 and 6. Isaiah chapter 1 it's and like 6. Hosea, Hosea. Hosea 1 and 6. Hosea. Because it I says, say? you say Isaiah, I believe. Oh, my bad. That's all right. <laughs> or he it? said, chapter as it says in Hosea or O.C. So he's uh, making a reference to what's written in the Old Testament okay. to show how the Gentiles so are Israel. Right. And, and, and that was verse what? Y'all don't believe that in the prophet Muhammad? That was Hosea 1 and 6. Hosea chapter huh? 1 and 6. Yeah, chapter oh, 1 okay. verse 6. Okay, chapter, chapter 1, one verse 6. So that's not a prophet okay, verse we should six. follow, prophet Muhammad? No, that's a different word. All right. That so came 600 years after. Romans 9. That's right. So. Romans 9. Go back to Romans 9. Romans 9 and verse number 20. So you understand that these Gentiles is the house of Israel. I, I definitely understand what you're saying. All right, read. Okay, all praise. Verse 26. No. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. In Hosea 1 and 10, on down the Lord said, ye are not yeah. my people. Really from verse 6. Go on. Uh, there shall they be called the children of the living God. So now those Gentiles who are living like the Greeks, you have to put yourself back in the mindset of what life was like in the time of the apostles yeah. and what our people were following. Right, they were following all matter of heathenistic gods, brother. Right, yeah, they were yeah. following Diana of Ephesus. Right. Give me First Corinthians 15 and 32. Just like the right, they were following these. Zeus, brother, Aphrodite. They were following strange gods. Right. Living yeah. like Gentiles, yeah. but the Apostle Paul was Why sent to bring them back to the Most High. Right, give me Acts 28 and 20. Bring that up. Brother. There are man-made. Why can't this one be man-made as well? So because we're short, because we have prophecies that show you but that we're got the well. same as that prophecy that yeah. people believe the same exact thing. Give me some yeah, And yeah, I'm not saying I believe. The book of Acts, chapter 28, verse 20. For this cause, therefore, have I called for you to see you. Read it again at the top. For this cause, therefore. Acts 28 Yeah, read. For this cause, therefore, have I called for you to see you and to speak with you, because that for the hold on, who was Paul sent to? What people? He was the great apostle to what people? Paul, is it like Peter? The Paul. apostle Paul, yeah. No, was he sent to the Jews? No, I was saying like. Can you say that again? So who was Paul sent to? See, I'm told. Time out. Time out. So Peter and Paul. Uh, two different people, yeah. Yeah, I know so that. Paul so Paul was they sent to the Gentiles. That, so right. right. Hold on, brother. We're going to explain it. All right. See, so, so what about the? We're going to deal with that. Him over. We're going to deal with one point at a time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to grasp it. Let us deal with one point at a time. All right. Read it again from the top. For this cause, therefore, have I called for you to see you and to speak with you, because that for the hope. Of Israel, hope of everybody. Hope, hope of hope Israel. Israel, hope of the whole world. Hope, hope of Israel. Read. I am bound with this chain. So that's the last chapter in the Book of Acts. And the Apostle Paul said, "All the labor I went through, traveling from Iconium to Lystra, the Derby being stoned, fighting with beasts, that Ephesus being in prison, it was all for the hope of Israel." Uh -huh. So every epistle he wrote, it was for the hope of Israel. When he, uh -huh. Romans, First Corinthians, uh -huh. Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. It was all that he may hope that Israelites can be saved That's and right. come out of a Gentile state of mind. Right. That's so, why we're out here, brother. Okay, right. word. So you preach to can this? So y'all are doing the same thing where y'all preaching to the Gentiles and y'all right. right and our so people who don't know their nationality well, are the Gentiles. Okay, so my, why is it so still question, not working? Okay, and now I got two questions. Right. Um, uh, one is uh, so what is it that Gentiles have to understand? about ourselves not just not just in terms of our nationality but also you gotta remember the greatest commandment which is talked about in deuteronomy 6 and also in uh matthew 25 verse 37 and 40 where it talks about um the two greatest commandments which is to serve your lord your god to serve your lord your god right with all your heart all your soul all your mind and the next one is to love your brother as you love yourself right, right, right. now is that the things that y'all need us the gentiles to understand right or is it even more than that is it greater than that we're going to explain. Where? Just give me that. The book of Mark, chapter 12, and verse number 29. No. And Yahweh Shai answered him. Give the me, uh, first Elijah's of all the commandments <laughs> is. So, here, here, brother. Listen. Read it again from the top. And Yahweh Shai answered him. The first of all the commandments is. 
Hear, O Israel. Hear, O everybody. Hear, O Israel. Right? Yeah. The Lord our God is one Lord. Read. Yeah. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart mm -hmm. and with all thy soul and with all thy mind Read. and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Right. And the, and the second is like, namely this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Let that go on. There is none other commandment greater than these. So that's what you're speaking of, yeah, that's right? What I'm speaking of. The greatest commandment. Now, what do we need the Gentiles to understand? First and foremost, give me Colossians chapter 1 and give me verse, start at verse 19. This is Colossians chapter 1 and verse 19. No. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell, right? And having made peace. First Corinthians chapter 1. Right, First Corinthians chapter one and nineteen. First Corinthians chapter one and verse nineteen. So we no. need y'all to understand who y'all are serving, how we ended in this Gentile state of mind, how to repent, and how to keep the commandments. Right. Oh, word, word. Now bring that up. First Corinthians chapter one and verse nineteen. Wait, no. wait, wait, can you say Hold what on. you just said one more time? Hold so on, let me, let me show you this. Right. I'm gonna show you, brother. Hold on. Let me no, read. but you just say you want us to understand what. I'm explaining. Let me read this verse. Okay, okay. I got how you answer my question. Okay. So we need you to understand who you were. Mm -hmm. We need you to understand how to repent. How to keep the commandments and how to serve the Most High. Okay, word. All right, bring that up. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. So the first point is, is for us to break down the strongholds. The wisdom of the wise is dealing with energy, it's dealing with uh, philosophies, it's dealing with Christianity, it's dealing with all of the doctrines right. that cause our people to stumble. Right. So our people who, like you may say Yahuwah, he may say energy or, or any of these diverse stumbling blocks, it's our job to help you get rid of those things. Uh -huh. You can't walk on a straight path to the Most High with all of these stumbling blocks in front of you, right? So the Most High, he's destroying the wisdom of the wise. So hold on, hold on. He's tearing down all of the strongholds that our people have with the truth. So it's our job to come out here in warfare to pull down these strongholds. That's right. Pull down. So you're talking about these. Particularly, you're talking about these other gods. Other right? gods, other doctrines, doctrines other philosophies, right. other identities. Philosophy. We go to war okay. out here, spiritual war. Right. You, in the ancient times, when you went to war, you had to pull down wars. Right? Right. You had sieges that took 10 years, sometimes five years. So right now, we're performing a military siege against your mind. So what right, 2 the... Corinthians 10 and 3. So hold on, bro, let me get this real quick. Second, okay. We're going to hold that. 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse number 3. Right? No. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not, not carnal, carnal, right? Yeah. But mighty through God, read. To the pulling down of strongholds. We can't invade your mind with the truth unless we pull down the strongholds. That's we right. can't just come out here and teach our people that we the Israelites and build them up without breaking down first, man. Right? We have to build a new city upon a clean foundation. Word. Right, go on. Verse 5. Casting down imagination. Like in the ancient times, you'll cast down a wall. They'll pull the wall down uh -huh. in order to go through a city. Man, read read the book of Joshua. Then they have to invade Jericho by doing what? Uh, he circled around that joint. And what happened with the walls? Yeah. They came, they yeah, came yeah. down the walls. Yeah. But whose power was that? The most, most high. Yeah, how? Bosh me up shot. So we're doing the same thing. Right? We're compassing your mind seven times with the precepts, man. Giving a great sound to the trump and shutting down the walls. Right, read on? Uh -huh. And every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God. Because certain things, they put themselves over the most high. Right? Other knowledge, under, other understanding. Read on. And bringing into captivity. And what? And, and bringing, bringing into, into captivity. captivity. Right? When we go to war, we take things captive. Right? It's our job to take your mind captive and make it and submit to Yahweh Shah. Right? Go on. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Right? We want your thoughts to be to obedient to Christ. Read on. And... Having in, so like it, and having in a readiness to revenge. To do what? To, to revenge. revenge. This is about revenge, man. That's right. It's about bringing our people back to the Most High God. It's about avenging our nation, man. Ha right. Uh, Spiritual revenge. Go on. Can you read that whole verse with me? But can, I, can I read it myself? Can uh, someone give me a Bible to, it to read it a long way? He's writing the scriptures down. We, we won't write it down. You got to, you got a phone on you. Yeah, I got. Yeah, well, pull it up on your actually, phone. I got my phone. Yeah. Okay, you my phone about to die. Something. So can I uh, pull it up on your phone? It's 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. 10 and 4. Help me out. 2 Corinthians, we started at verse 3. You started after we read verse 4, though. Uh, all right, 2 Corinthians 1. No, chapter 10 and verse 4.
book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse number 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Right, we have swords, helmets, uh, breastplates, go on. To the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Right, give me a second Samuel 20, I believe we're on And bringing into captivity. And what? And, and bringing into captivity, captivity. And bringing into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Right. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So when our obedience is fulfilled and when we submit to Christ and Jesus Christ and the Most High God, we come out here and want our people to submit as well, right? So it's our job to pull down the strongholds that the Gentiles have. The Apostle Paul had to deal with what? What was the main stumbling blocks? Eating food with blood in it, fornication, things offered unto idols. Those are the stumbling blocks that the apostles had to wage war against. The no, same thing, hold on, no, we're doing the same thing. We're waging war against Christianity. No, I don't we're waging so. war against Islam. Right. We're waging war against uh, philosophies, right. doctrines, right. false identities, false nationalities, all matter of lies. That's so right, that's right, what so. we have to do. We have to pull down your lies so you can submit and understand the truth. The truth of the matter is that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. So you're not a Gentile, right? You're not a black man. You're not a Negro. You're not an African American. I, you would yeah. be an Israelite right. by blood. By yes, blood. Right. Not by faith. Right. Not by None just something that you right. Literally like by blood, you are the men you read about in the Bible. Right. 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 We know that. Go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. That's how we know that. Mm. Mm. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Listen. Mm. Brother, this is going to tie it all home, Lord with it. Jeremiah 17 and 4. The book of Jeremiah, yeah. chapter 17 Listen. and verse number 4. Read oh. up. And thou, even thyself. The Lord told Israel, and even you, Jeremiah, even yourself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. This is how we became Gentiles, brother. We got discontinued from our heritage. Right. Right. What is our heritage? Uh, right. Heritage. You're absolutely right. Now, what about if you never knew that? What would you follow if you never knew that we were the Israelites? What would your heritage be? What uh, do they give us in the world? They uh, give us weed, basketball, right. Hennessy, cookouts, right. what about uh, Tim's, Forces, Nikes. My, uh, great grandmother. What else? Living. Right. Right. But what about like passed down? Right. There was a time when they all got cut off from their heritage, brother. So now, some of I was told from my family was a lot. I'm, I'm not sure what you were told. They was told they were black for Cherokee. They were their race. Yeah. So yeah, dead. they were cut off from their heritage. All right. Because if they but, didn't, right? if they wasn't cut off, they would have said that we're Israelites from the tribe of Gad. Besides the point, even on a good note, I do so much community work for the people who came and where I live at. I try to help others, and I want nothing in return but just to see others happy, right? Right. Where's the, where does that city come from if I follow nothing from that book? Well, brother, uh, rather you believe it or not, this may be your reward for your labor. Right. And, and right here in the words so, of life, brother. And on top of that, basically, well, I, that, there's a... It's no, like, I'm saying, like, I found out one commandment. I actually right. go actually, against but it. Is, but listen, so listen. should not be shunned for that? Hold on. But, but a command, man, give me Proverbs 20 and 24. But a commandment is an action, right? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, turns out, what you're saying is that your actions are, if they're good, they no, might but be I'm saying, bring up, listen, 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 listen. Give me Romans chapter 2 and give me verse 14. I actually go against it. All right, check this out. Oh, we're going to wrap up this. Bring it up. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Listen, listen, listen. And it reads thus. Man's goings are of the Lord. What did the Lord say? Man's goings are of the Lord. Go where you want to go. Man's goings are of the Lord. Read. How can a man then understand his own way? So the Lord wants y'all up here for a reason. All right, now listen to this, Romans 2 and 14. The book of Romans chapter 2, verse number 14. No. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law. Like you say you don't have the law. You didn't keep the commandments. Go on. Right. Do by nature. Do by what? Do, do by, by nature. nature. You're naturally inclined to do but good for like your people. Right, because like you love I'm, your people, right, brother? Yeah, the, and, and you love your people. Yeah. So there I feel are like things. It's the other way around, though. Hold on, hold on. But there are things you do, which it's in your spirit that's telling you it's a righteous thing to do. Yeah. Right. right? Like there's but, no way that you would murder this man, yeah, so or take his wife, or hold on, brother, let me finish, mm -hmm. or or be a pedophile. Right? right. There are certain things that you're naturally inclined not to do due right. to the spirit. Yeah. That's so right. these so there, you have saying. Gentiles, right. which don't have the law. But by nature, they do the things in the law. Yes. Yeah. Right. Read on. But can so, I tell you a hold reason on, hold on, hold on. why I do? Hold on. Do by nature the things contained in the law. These what? These having not the law, 
are a law unto themselves. See that? Yeah. So you're naturally inclined by the spirit to do the law because you would be an so, Israelite. Read on. Yeah. Basically, which show basically. the work of the law. Which what? Which, which show, show the work, work of the law. law. Listen to brother. Which show the work of the law written where? Yeah, written in their hearts. It's in your Blame. mind. I can still no. go against the commandments, but still portray the goodness that I do. No. And not get, but I'm listen. saying that's my reality. Okay, I'm telling you. Now. Listen. I, to everything there is a season and a time and purpose for every work under heaven. Right. Right? So right now, heaven listen. Is a mind state, though, no, no, no. Place. Right now is the time right now to receive the word. Meaning what? Anything you have done in time past is here for, is for the here and now. Right? The most I want you up here, right here and right now, to hear the words of life that you can repent from former sins and come and serve the most high God. Right? So everything you've done in time past, right. I'm not saying you it's irrelevant, to, you, but guess what? You, you have you to want you, me here, right? Exactly. To hear so, the so words of life. If I could explain another way from my point of view, why I was drawn. If you're here to explain another way, brother, at the end of the day, the most so high brought you here. Sense. The most high brought I, you here. Now, yeah, if you if the most high brought you here not to hear the words of life, then that's another thing. You know what I'm right. saying? But at the end of the day, it's our job to give you this word. So see, rather, it's, walk, rather it's for day, your right? destruction or rather it's for your salvation. So am I a bad individual? Read that. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 25. Check it out. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man. Read that again. There's, There's a way, way that seemeth right unto a man. You got ways that seem right to men too. Right? Certain men thinking, okay, I'm going to do this on a Sabbath day. It's a good deed. It's a righteous thing. I'm going to go buy a whole bunch of food for the homeless on a, on a Sabbath. Right. It seems right, right? They're homeless. You're giving them food. Right. You're taking money out your account to go oh, help no. them out. I but it's the Sabbath you. day, right. right? And you can't buy on a Sabbath day. Right. Right. There is a way that seems right unto a man. Go right. on. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But what? But, but the, the end thereof are the ways of death. death. Right. Ultimately, it's for your destruction. So right. explain this, right? I'm I'm a, I got a slide. All right, brother, you would be a what? What are we according to the Bible? Apparently, we're according to the Bible, I'm an Israelite. That's right. 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 So, right. What, what the other a part? situation, right? <laughs> thought about the, it. The, a girl, my next door neighbor was a I girl. Got one. Got one. So, so you would be an Israelite. Oh, right. okay. Her guy was beating her. Oh, her guy was beating her. Brother, you would be an Israelite according to the Bible. You got to repent and keep the commandments. Check it out. You want to fly it too? Okay, great. You get it, brother. I'm a Yeah, so I'm saying, look at this, right? Give me Revelation. You're saying it's wrong. Like, um, Give me Sabbath, Genesis 49 not supposed to. So look, this one situation I was in, I overheard the conversation, the next door neighbor, long story short, the guy was beating up this girl, he right. stole uh, $12,000 of the stuff, took a car, right? Right. I took it out myself to help her out because I knew she had kids and got her a new car. Right. That was we talk about our problems? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, wrong? I got something to say. We talking about our problems? Well, no, that wasn't wrong, brother. Right. But guess what? Problems. At the end of the day, you gotta keep the command. That's right. But that's the end of our deal. I did all that out of the What are you wrong? doing? You no, that's Frankenstein to tomorrow. We'll move it down for you. back or situations like when family, right? They lose their like home, right? right? And you know how other family members will make you hard and you just pay this portion and right. For me, I do it different. You don't pay me nothing. Save your money so you can Well, that's a good thing. You do a camera? Right, that's what I'm saying, so. Hey. But guess what? Good is really keeping the commandments. Right, that's Romans chapter seven and twelve on down. But what if I don't go? I'm gonna let the I'm gonna go against the book. Well, you, I'm a bad person. You're gonna be destroyed. But right. I'm, I'm saying a, from my reality. Yeah, well, it's not about your mind. That's why I said there's a way that seems right. But to mind is mad. No, 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 give me Revelation 18. Book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 21. Yeah. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying. That's with violence. That's with madness. That's with violence. That's with fighting. That's with violence. That's, That's, That's with marching. That's, That's with violence. That's free. So that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. That's right. Give me Genesis 49 and 1. Look at Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. Read no. And it reads thus. And Jacob said, and Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together. Stay home. Gather, Gather yourselves together. Individualize. Gather, Gather yourselves together. Speak off in the night. Gather, Gather yourselves together. together. Read. That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. And you living in the last days. You living in the end of the world. Right. So called black, Hispanic, and Native American right. man, woman, and child do not repent. Right. You will be cut down in the That's land of the living. Right. Hey. Right. John 12 28. Right. Book of John. Chapter 12 and verse number 28. Free no. Father, glorify thy name. With the Lord's name. Father, glorify thy name. With Yahweh's name. Father, glorify thy name. With the King of Kings. Father, glorify thy name. Free. Then came to a voice from heaven saying, I will glorify it 
and we'll glorify it again. And with that, Kwame Ashella. Kwame Ashella. Kwame Ashella. Kwame Ashella. Kwame Ashella.